America, we need to talk. The political conversation in Puerto Rico is very different from the one in the U.S. In the U.S. it's Democrats, Republicans, liberals uh, versus um, conservatives, right, left. When you go to Puerto Rico, we don't really relate to that. We're not either Democrats or Republicans. We're either statehood, independent, or commonwealth. Whatever happens in Puerto Rico, we don't only decide. It's not up to us alone. It's actually up to the big guy, Uncle Sam. It's like we feel like we have the power over the island, but we really don't. And I think that actually translates to other things as well. And it's just like the general thing that's happening in Puerto Rico. We're trying to keep our culture and our traditions intact, but at the same time, the American influence is so huge that we can't. We definitely have this new language where we incorporate English words into our Spanish sentences. So it would be something like, Tengo el carro estacionado en el parking. So we use like parking instead of estacionamiento. It's just become like one of the languages that we speak in, in Puerto Rico. And it's very much part of our culture and especially part of my generation and my, the generations following me. Whether that's good or not, I don't know. I do know that Spanish is a beautiful language and I would love to, to keep it as intact as I can, but I find myself struggling sometimes when I'm speaking in Spanish and I'm really trying to keep all the sentences, all, all the words in Spanish. I struggle because my mind goes to English. So there, there starts to become a lack of vocabulary in both. You know, it's, it's another piece of the puzzle that we don't really know where it belongs. I invite all of you to join the conversation. Send us your videos or comments, ideas, questions. You don't have to be Puerto Rican to be part of this conversation. The important thing is let's get this conversation started. Oh, and we do pay taxes.